Sonic the Hedgehog also known as Sonic Satam, is an American-Italian animated comedy television series based on the video game series of the same name. It was story edited by Len Jansen and produced by Dick Productions LP, Sega of America, Inc., and the Italian studio Riti Italia S.P.A. It is the second of Dick's Sonic cartoons, following Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It features a more dramatic and dark story, depicting Sonic as a member of a band of freedom fighters battling to overthrow Dr. Robotnik. The program aired for two seasons on ABC from September 18, 1993 to December 3, 1994. Plot <inaudible> 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 The series takes place on Mobius, a planet mostly populated by anthropomorphic animals. The Kingdom of Acorn, based within the city of Mobitropolis, was at war with an unseen enemy. The king recruited a human scientist, Julian, to build war machines to end the war with a victory. However, during peacetime, Julian and his nephew Snively launched a coup d'état against the kingdom. The king is banished to another dimension, the Void, and the citizens are captured and transformed into mindless robots, through a machine called the Roboticizer. Julian renames himself as Dr. Robotnik, now the steel-hearted dictator of Mobius. Mobitropolis is renamed Robotropolis, a polluted, factorial cityscape. Robotnik finds himself opposed by a small collective group called the Freedom Fighters, who operate out of the secluded woodland village Knothole. They are led by Sonic the Hedgehog and Princess Sally Acorn, the king's sole heir. Other members include Sonic's best friend Miles, Tails, Prower, technical expert Rota the Walrus, French-accented coyote Antoine de Coulette, half-roboticized bunny rabbit, and Dulcie the Dragon. They act as an insurgency against Robotnik's regime. Sonic uses the power rings to gain a temporary boost in power. Both the rings and the roboticizer were designed by Sonic's uncle Chuck, one of the victims of the machine. Early on in the series, Sonic uses a power ring to restore Uncle Chuck's mind in his mechanical body. Chuck decides to act as a spy for the Freedom Fighters, operating from within the city. He is eventually exposed by Robotnik in the second season, and flees to Knothole. Sally searches for her father throughout the series. He is found alive within the Void, shared with a sorcerer, Norgus, who was also imprisoned within the dimension by Robotnik. Norgus attempts to escape the Void, but both he and the King discover their bodies turn to crystal whilst back on Mobius, and are forced to return to their prison. The heroes gain other allies, including Ari the Ram, and Lupe, leader of the elusive wolf pack. In the series' sole two-part episode, Blast to the Past. Sonic and Sally use the Time Stones to travel back in time, in an attempt to thwart Robotnik's planned takeover. They fail, but manage to get their younger selves to the safety of Knothole, with help from Sally's nanny Rosemary Woodchuck. In the series finale, Robotnik builds the Doomsday Project to wipe out his enemies. The Freedom Fighters launch a full-scale assault against Robotnik, Sonic and Sally destroying the Doomsday Project with the power of the Deep Power Stones. Robotnik vanishes, and the Freedom Fighters declare victory, with Sonic and Sally kissing. In a final scene, Snively becomes the main antagonist, accompanied by an unseen ally with red eyes. Ben Hurst, one of the series' writers, confirmed the figure was Norgus. Characters <laughs> 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 Topic. Not whole Freedom Fighters Sonic the Hedgehog – Sonic is the main protagonist of the series. He is able to run at superhuman speed, and is the only Freedom Fighter capable of using magical rings called Power Rings. Sonic has a defiant attitude, but is also courageous, clever, and cunning. He is voiced by Jalil White. Sally Acorn – the rightful princess of Mobitropolis and Sonic's love interest. As strategist for the Knothole Freedom Fighters, she is intelligent and cautious. However, Sally remains competitive towards Sonic. She is voiced by Kath Susi. Bunny Rabbit, a rabbit with a southern accent. Half of her body was roboticized, leaving her left arm and both legs mechanical. She is skilled in martial arts, and desires to be returned to normal. She is voiced by Christine Cavanaugh. 
Antoine Depardieu, a coyote with a French accent whose clumsiness often places the others in danger. He has some difficulty speaking English. He has romantic feelings for Princess Sally, and attempts to impress her. However, his cowardice hinders this goal. Sonic often teases Antoine over his shortcomings. He is voiced by Rob Paulson. Rota, a walrus, and the mechanic of Knothole Village. He provides the Knothole Freedom Fighters with useful inventions, and accompanies them on missions. He is voiced by Mark Ballou season one, Cam Brainard season two. Tails, a young fox who idolizes Sonic. While usually left behind in Knothole, he proves bright in dangerous situations. He is voiced by Bradley Pierce. Nicole, a portable computer that Sally uses to hack into Robotnik's technology. Nicole speaks in a female monotone, and exhibits artificial intelligence. It is indicated that Sally received Nicole from her father. She is voiced by Kath Susi too. Dulcie, a young dragon, who provides the Knothole Freedom Fighters with transportation. Sporting powerful lungs, she can blow enemies away and freeze them with ice breath. She has trouble landing, and often crashes mid-flight. She is voiced by Cree Summer. Topic. Villains Dr. Julian Robotnik, a warlord who seeks to cover Mobius in machinery, and transform its population into robotic slaves. He is chiefly opposed by the Knothole Freedom Fighters. Robotnik's obsession with destroying Sonic is often his undoing. In this version, his real first name is Julian, adopting the moniker, Robotnik, after his takeover. He is voiced by Jim Cummings. Snively, Robotnik's assistant and nephew. He is constantly mistreated by his uncle. As such, Snively despises Robotnik and plots behind his back. He is voiced by Charlie Adler. Swatbits, Robotnik's primary henchmen. They are voiced by Jim Cummings and Frank Welker. Cluck, a robotic chicken, and the only creature Robotnik shows affection towards. Norgus, a powerful sorcerer, who hates Robotnik for imprisoning him within the void. He desires vengeance, but he cannot escape without crystallizing. He is voiced by Michael Bell. Topic. Recurring Sir Charles. Chuck. Hedgehog, Sonic's uncle, and the inventor of the roboticizer before Robotnik stole it. He was roboticized and made into one of Robotnik's slaves, until Sonic restored his free will. He serves as a spy for the Freedom Fighters. He is voiced by William Wyndham. Ari, a Freedom Fighter who worked as a double agent for Robotnik, only to be betrayed later and trapped in the void. He is voiced by Dorian Harewood. King Acorn, the former king of Mobotropolis and Sally's father. He was banished to the void during Robotnik's takeover, and like Norgus, cannot escape without crystallizing. He is voiced by Tim Curry. Lupe, leader of the Wolfpack Freedom Fighters, and one of the Knothole Freedom Fighters allies in the fight against Robotnik. She is voiced by Shari Belafont. Topic: Episodes. Topic: Series overview. Topic. Season 1 1993. Topic. Season 2 1994. Topic. Broadcast and distribution Topic. Initial run The Saturday morning series differs from the weekly Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which premiered the same month. While Adventures is lighthearted and comical, Sonic the Hedgehog featured a comparatively complex plot and dramatic atmosphere. It explored unusual story concepts for animation, including losing loved ones to war. At ABC's request, the second season included episodes devoted to humor, while darker elements were reduced. Other changes include Princess Sally donning a jacket for season two, and Rota receiving a new design. 
ABC also ended up, in some weeks, airing back-to-back -back episodes of this show during the first season, while in season two, each time slot for the show was single airings only. <laughs> Syndication After the program's initial run, it appeared on the USA Network's Action Extreme team from June 1997 to January 1998. The series aired in Canada on the CTV network, with a bonus summer run between June 10 and September 2, 1995. ABC did not replicate this, replacing Sonic with reruns of Free Willy. Sonic the Hedgehog has not been rerun on broadcast or cable television in Canada since its cancellation on CTV, but was present on the Show Me Video on Demand platform until its November 30, 2016, closure. From 1994 to 1996, it had a complete run on the UK television on ITV and Channel 4. In December 1994, the first season was broadcast in the Republic of Ireland on RTE2. On September 2, 2016, reruns of the series began airing on Stars. Topic: <inaudible> Release history. DVD releases. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> In other media. Topic. Comics Archie's Sonic the Hedgehog comic book was initially based on the Saturday morning cartoon. From its earliest issues, the book shared the characters and story premise established within it. However, the comic differed in that it featured humorous plots modeled after the weekday show. After writer Ken Penders had the opportunity to view the Saturday morning program, the comic gradually became adventure-driven. The comic series shifted focus again after ABC cancelled Sonic the Hedgehog, developing into a relationship-based superhero story, and following a reboot, Archie's Sonic was primarily inspired by the video game series. Nevertheless, the characters and locales from the Saturday morning cartoon remained prominent until the comic's cancellation in July 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Video games. Several video games were intended to use elements from the TV series, although only one was completed. This was Sonic Spinball, released in 1993 for the Sega Genesis. It contained characters from the show, including Princess Sally, Bunny Rabbit, Rota and Mutsky. The characters were also planned for use in another game, tentatively titled Sonic 16. A prototype was created by the Sega Technical Institute. Yuji Naka disliked the project, and it was cancelled without further development. Directly afterwards, the same team worked on Sonic Mars. Prior to cancellation, this would have featured Princess Sally and Bunny Rabbit as playable characters. Reception Sonic the Hedgehog initially ranked number 9 in its time slot with a 5.2 rating, an estimated 4.8 million viewers. Mark Bozen of IGN criticized the show as dated, considering it, so bad, it's good. Writing for DVD Talk, Todd Douglas Jr. remarked that Sonic didn't stand the test of time. Overall, he considered it to be of low quality, although he found the stories, Ultra Sonic and Blast to the Past to be the creme of the crop. Luke Owen of Flickering Myth felt Sonic aged better than is often supposed, praising its well-executed characterizations and treatment of war, although he considered Antoine to be one of the worst characters committed to a cartoon series. GamesRadar listed the show as one of the worst things to happen to Sonic. It criticized its plot and characters as unwanted. Escapist journalist Bob Chipman credited the series with providing a viably menacing take on Dr. Robotnik, and an engaging narrative. Bob Mackey of US Gamer wrote that the cartoon's writing didn't live up to its intriguing premise. In particular, he argued that the Antoine character perpetrated negative French stereotypes. 